This tutorial demonstrates how to print or email an invoice or any other report from the iForge Ahead system. I'll be working on the full screen side of iForge Ahead during this tutorial, but the techniques that I'm going to demonstrate are basically the same on the mobile side as well. We'll start here in the detailed view for a specific invoice. In the action panel, we'll see an option that says print this invoice. Now, if you're working on the mobile side of iForge Ahead, remember that your action panel appears at the top above the detailed view instead of on the left. The print invoice link will be available as long as the invoice has already been marked as finalized. When we click that link, it doesn't actually send the invoice to the printer at that time, but it brings you to this print preview screen where you can work with the document and decide whether to email or print it or both from this screen. The preview screen shows you exactly how the report or invoice will look when printed and you can scroll through it or page through it using the toolbar that we'll discuss in just a moment that appears at the top. You'll always want to check your action panel for any format settings available that can adjust the way the report appears. For example, in this invoice we are showing a column for the price and the adjustment which are all calculated into the total. The format settings gives us an option to hide those two columns. If we check that and then click Save Settings, the printable invoice will be redrawn with those columns hidden, as you can see here. So you'll always want to check your action panel for any format settings available. Now the toolbar at the top allows you to work with the invoice or report document in different ways. In the center it will tell you how many pages and what page you're viewing. In this case this invoice is just a single page which is indicated in this last box here. If it was multiple pages you'd have a bigger number here and this box would indicate what page you're looking at. You can page through it on the screen using these bu arrow buttons to the left and right. These will take you forward through the document and these will take you backwards. The printer icon on the left allows you to send this document to your printer and if we click that it will bring up your standard print dialog box for your device which has a number of settings and you can simply click OK to send it to the printer. If you'd like to send this document to someone through an email, you'll use this email this invoice option here. When we click that, we're going to get a new screen that allows us to set the parameters for the email. Much of this is filled in for you and you can quickly review it and make sure it's okay before clicking send. But if you need to make any changes, let's go through the fields so you understand what they are. The from field is your email address and it cannot be changed. This is coming from the email address that's stored in iForge Ahead. Here you have an option. If you check this box, you will receive a copy of this email as well as your customer. The to field shows who this invoice or report is going to and this is automatically filled in on an invoice from the email address for the customer being invoiced. If you have not already entered their email address in the contact record, this will be empty and you'll need to add it here before sending the invoice. The last two fields comprise the subject line and message for the invoice and these are pre-filled from your default settings which I'll show you in just a second but you can change them here if necessary. For this specific invoice, if you want to change the subject line, you can click here, or the message text, 
click in here and you can add or edit the text in any way you'd like. Once all of this is set, just how you'd like it to go to your customer, click the send button. That will send the email out and you can tell because you have a message here that says the email has been sent. Now I'm going to wrap up by showing you for invoice emailing how to change those default settings for your subject line and your message text. From anywhere in the system you can go to settings and click on that and in this navigation page you'll select settings for invoices. You'll scroll down through the optional settings until you get to the option for emailing invoices. And over here on the right, you'll have text boxes where you can set the subject line that you'd like to be used for your emails of invoices, and you can change the text that goes in the message as well. Click in either of these boxes and adjust the text however you'd like it, and then click the Save button and that will save your changes so that any future emails of invoices that go out use the values that are starting here. Thank you very much.